Well, hi YouTube. Uh, I wanted to give you a little look on the latest PCB I did. Uh, it's this infrared uh, transceiver module I developed. Uh, as of yet, I have only one module. The other module, as you can see here, is still incomplete. Uh, that one is complete. Uh, that's the top side of the module. Uh, right here, you can see the sending unit, the sending LED. This is the receiver module. Uh, that's for stabilizing the voltage. There, you can select the voltage source, like if you want to have a uh, supply voltage over USB, or if you want to use uh, this uh, voltage regulator here. Uh, this is uh, the programming check, the ISP check. And here you can uh, connect uh, the target, uh, supply the target voltage. So, overall, you have three ways to connect power to the board. This is uh, the connector uh, to the UART. Well, that's about it. And there you can set up your address later on. So, let's see it from the back side looks like that. I mean, it, it turned out pretty good, so I think it's worth showing. I used uh, a tin coating, and the whole thing is uh, laced uh, with a protecting, uh, how do you say, uh, well, coat with, uh, uh, it's this uh, contact plastic spray you can apply to those spots so it protects protects you from uh, uh, bad influences on the board so it's just a little like a uh, sold stop it has an isolating uh, influence on the board so we can hold it against light so you can see uh, this is always a good thing if you hold it against light you can see the whole circuit very clearly uh, and if you turn up this video to be in a high resolution mode, this uh, on the above right side, you can select uh, show in high resolution. So you probably see it quite clearly now. Uh, this is also a way of ensuring quality. So especially on those small chips here, you can, if you hold it against the light, you can see any short circuits uh, and any irregularities on the board. So that's. A difference if you look uh, on it like that and if you look on it like that so you can see everything that isn't clear you can see any short circuits but it's sort of like the visual way of her uh, e-test which is done uh, with machines in the professional sector but yeah I think it turned out pretty well and also the design of course I did myself uh, and I think I have improved a lot so those results are worth showing now and if you think well if I could do it like that it's not that hard anyway at least it needs a little practice of course but uh, you keep on doing it you're getting better just forcibly yeah and uh, of course I have to write the firmware on the protocol and if this is done and I have set up the test the one thing connected uh, to the PC via USB the other thing connected uh, and controlled by an additional microcontroller on the SDK. If this is ready, I'll give you the next video on this. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching again, and have a nice day, Michael.